Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're gonna take a look here at the ADJ Mod STQ. It's a little par that we really like here. Um, one, because of build quality. Check out our previous video here on the review where we talk about that. And two, because it's got a really good feature set and, and does work really well, uh, but the cost is really, really nice. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, on the last video, we went through build quality and stuff, and we've got the mod here, and we've got its mod barn door accessory, which is optional if you want to use barn doors on it. Let's take a quick look at the barn doors. Uh, as mentioned previously, the barn doors uh, screw on right here. So it's literally as simple as uh, taking the unit. There's a number of ways to do this. Uh, so I could show you, I'm going to set it sideways. I think you guys can kind of see. Um, and it lines up with the pre-threaded screw holes. You've got a bag with some screws in it. Uh, everything is black. There is a white version of all of this stuff as well. And then it's, it's really just as simple as tightening that down. Flip it around. Push it down to line it up. Nice and tight. Awesome. So the barn doors, as I mentioned, have this annoying sticker on them. Uh, it can be pulled off. Um, it doesn't feel like it's on there too bad. And then we're able to shape the light a little bit better. Let's go ahead and plug this thing in, take a look at it. So as mentioned before, I've got a PowerCon cable here. I just grabbed one, uh, but the, the one that comes with the fixture is actually nice and long. It looks like it's uh, probably about six feet or two meters. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the unit. AC, 100 to 240 volts, so you could run these on 208 if you wanted. Plug it in, it boots up. Uh, it's in a standalone mode from the get-go. Changing colors here. Um, so let me go ahead and turn off my front light here so we can see exactly what the Mod STQ is doing. All right, so now we're in here. We've got the mod itself. Uh, we've got it shining. We can shine on the surface. And let's go ahead, this is an interesting fire truck uh, sequence. I'm just gonna go ahead and change it up here, uh, get it into an automated mode. So I'm gonna go, I assume, mode. Or setup. I could read the manual, but why? Okay, so I held mode for about two seconds. Oh no, I tap mode. Man, it's giving me the info. Every light's different. So, manual mode. Boom. Full white. I'm just going to dial it back a little. So you basically, in this unit, you've got red, green, blue, and white LEDs. Okay? Um, so I'm going to go loop. Looks like mode kind of gets you through the main menus. And then setup gets you through, like, the sub-menu. So I'm in manual mode, and then... I can take uh, red, green, blue, and white, strobe, dimmer, all that stuff. So I'm just going to minus green a little, minus blue. Get kind of a, a midway, a nice little warm white. And then what I'm going to do is show you how it looks. So this camera's color balanced uh, for a higher color temperature, but this is a really pleasing white to the eye. Um, out of the box, it has a diffuser on it, um, I believe, and that takes the uh, unit from 17 degrees to 20 degrees. Okay, but as mentioned, you can change out these diffusers, and that's one of the cool things about the, the Mod STQ. Let's do that real quick. So I'm just going to unplug it, and yeah, it looks like my camera above's got enough light to be happy. And so we can literally just take off these thumb screws. If they get over tightened somehow, there is a Phillips head on them as well. And then boom. Now we're at no diffuser, 17 degrees. I believe the diffuser that was on it was 20. 
And we could do just a quick, quick, quick demonstration. Um, there's basically four levels, I believe. Yeah, that's a slight diffusion. Um, oh no, it's written on them. So the one that was in it, I thought it looked wider than 20. Is I think that one might be like 40, and then these ones say 20, 40, oops, 20, 40, 60. You say, David, why didn't you look at this before you did the video? Because honestly, it doesn't matter that much. You can look up the spec uh, if you need the exact data. But it is pretty cool. Actually, I'll go plug it in over here. If we look at it on our back wall here, we could just demonstrate these different diffusers, okay? So I'm gonna put it right up against a wall. Um, so this is the default, the uh, 17 degree. A couple of things you're gonna notice here in the light here, you see a little bit of color fringing. Um, that's typical on less expensive LED units um, with just this bare lens. If we go to the 20, we could put that on, of course, we would use the thumb screws. Um, that improves the color fringing a little, makes it a little bit wider. Then we've got the 40. On this one, on the 40, uh, to the eye, there's less color fringing, less spots where you see like a little like red shadow um, than I'm seeing on the camera's monitor, okay? Uh, and it's also pretty wide. This is where you can see how these barn doors can really help you to frame in what you need, especially if you're using it for a front light application, okay? Um, and these guys are, are really pretty good for front light. Um, then we've got the, is that the 20 again? It says that that's the 60. I guess it is, I guess it is wider than the last one. You guys are all watching it on camera and you're like, of course, David, it's wider. Um, and then there is the lens that comes included on it, which I think, honestly, yeah, okay, is literally, this just protects and holds the diffusion on. Um, it is technically slightly frosted, as you can see there, um, but the impact on the beam, yeah, that's evident on camera, is it really just smooths out that color fringing a little bit, which is great, always have this on, um, and then you can stick it on top of any of the angles. And so what I like about the Mod S TQ is this is one of the few lights out here um, which gives you a, a par with a wide angle, like a 60 degree you can put on it if that's what your application is. So if it's really close to your stage and you still need it to cover an area, uh, these can do it for you and that's why we like them. We also like the price. Um, you can buy cheap pars all day long um, and they look pinkish, they're really uneven on the stage. But this guy, from side to side, in the beam, front to back, it's really very even. I mean, if we look at this at 60 degrees here, we'll point it at a spot of the wall that doesn't have much on it. Uh, with cheap pars, you know, we, and we can sell them for sure. Um, they're good for up lights and stuff, but when you use them for front light, you see a really bright spot in the middle, uh, way brighter than here and then often like a quick taper out where it's like bright and then not so bright and then there's a lot of extra around the edges. Uh, this guy really is well behaved. Even with the barn doors wide open, it's a soft, even light. There's no like super definitive hotspot. And that's what we like to see. Um, now let's go ahead. I'm gonna grab a color meter really quick. And so here we have a color meter. This is gonna tell us more about the color of the light and the color quality at least is measured by CRI. Um, this one also does TM30, uh, which is more accurate for LEDs, but TM30 measurements are kind of difficult uh, to read. Um, they're not as easy as just a simple CRI. So I've got my CRI screen up. I'm just gonna go ahead and measure this. And so I'm gonna play it with some more, uh, but you can typically get CRI around 80 with the white LEDs in it. Uh, we're showing about uh, 60 here with uh, white and color, um, but um, I know and I will ch double check afterwards that the ADJ uh, photometric file, you can download the report, is very accurate, okay? Um, and so yeah, it's a good light. You know, it looks nice on the skin, um, it generally uh, does exactly what it needs to build quality. Check out our previous video on that. Uh, and you know, if you're looking for a par, maybe something to wash your stage, 
um, and you're not sure what to get, what will work for your specific circumstance, uh, give the Mint Mod SDQ a look, but also let us know over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear. You can just add items to your cart, ask us for a quote, and you can let us know, hey, I'm looking at this play, here's my situation, is it the best choice for me? And we're going to let you know. Because we carry uh, pretty much all the brands and we can get pretty much all the brands, we're going to make an informed decision that's not slanted towards the brand that we're a dealer for. Um, we look at what the best fit for you is, what the best reliability is, and we're going to recommend that to you. If that sounds good, head over to LearnStageLightingGear.com. Below, you'll see a link to both the main site and the mod STQ on the site, as well as the barn doors, and we will see you in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.